certainly thank you to all you folks that visited here today or came came down. Uh, uh, thanks to uh, Steve Dennis, our athletic director. Uh, the attitude of this department's tied to him. And, uh, you know, I feel like uh, for a lot of reasons, but mainly because of our leadership, uh, that we maybe have the best attitude in this department and on this football team we've had in a long time. We are trying to stir this soup mixture right now. You know, we've, uh, we've got all the ingredients in and we're slowly stirring it. And it's simmering, we're going to let it simmer for a while here after a while and put some ingredients, maybe some, some uh, seasoning in there, but uh, you all know that, uh, that it's uh, never an, ex an exact science. Uh, and uh, my wife can make soup and it'll be good every time, but I, I never can figure out exactly, you know, the measurements of what she's putting in there. And it's sort of that way with a football team. You, know? you never know exactly what's gonna be the final uh, uh, part of the mixture that makes it all come together chemically. The chemistry of a football team, that's what we're on. We've, uh, we've got great support people. You know, they've already been mentioned. Uh, and uh, Shaughnessy, Chuck Ash, Ricky, Joan, uh, uh, Mayotte, Mr. Mayotte, our, our academic uh, support person, and lots of others that don't get mentioned very much. Uh, this staff, this football staff that we've been able to assemble here and hang on to for the first time in a long t time, we've, we've been able to hang on to the whole group for the second year in a row. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm very impressed with them. I, I hope I'm not overstating it, but uh, you know, they're they are all uh, the right kind of folks. They all understand the game. They all understand and I believe, believe in the philosophy of the program. And that, that is a student athlete there. This may be the best acting for the in, in total group of guys we ever had. Uh, and uh, I don't want y'all to think we got a bunch of sissies running around here because we do, definitely do not. And we do have our share of little little uh, problems. But we've been in a, uh, uh, one thing that I credit, and uh, this is sort of Coach Edenfield's baby, I mean, at least I put him in charge of it. It's called an accountability competition that we started two years ago when he came on board. And basically we chose 10 leaders we thought needed to be leaders or were leaders. They chose, 10 guys out of the 100, basically 100 guys that we had in, in uh, all season. And it was mentioned we started when we got back from the bowl. Two years ago we started when we, when we uh, uh, got back in January. And uh, every, there's all kinds of uh, ways to get points. And tomorrow at Lake Semi at our team function, we will award the number one team, the number two team, and the number three team. And, and there's uh, academics involved. Class attendance involved, strength and conditioning involved, competitions involved, and uh, you know I think it's something that's not it's not necessarily cutting edge, but it's been it's been good for us to be able to get a gauge on who would who would uh, do for the team uh, from the team concept that maybe wouldn't do the same thing as an individual, and uh, and that's a, a good sign. And uh, I'm down the road schedule, nothing new at Troy. We have been on the road, uh, uh, you know, many times uh, in 11 game schedules. We've been on the road seven of those before, and uh, this one is a 12 game schedule. And and I think we're home what five times, is that right, Coach? And uh, but it's part of part of the deal, and uh, we understand that. I think our kids uh, enjoy uh, some of some of that as a, as an opportunity, and uh, you know we will open and. Uh, with, against a Mac school. Last time we played a Mac school, we got spanked in uh, the Silicon Valley. Uh, the Mac's a very good uh, uh, conference, and uh, and Bowling Green, they got a new coach, they got a new coordinator, so, you know, we, we got to study personnel and the, from last year, and we got to study somebody else's schemes uh, from Tennessee and two or three other places. So, to be uh, prepared for a uh, gross amount of things that uh, they might they might uh, use uh, against us. So, but uh, and then of course the Gators uh, on the 12th, uh, we'll have a long prep for them, and and you know they got everybody back and and Tebow who's Superman in my opinion in college football, and uh, 
But uh, you know what, the way we approach all of that, and I've been asked a million times how we approach those games. We approach those games the same way we approach Bowling Green, same way we're gonna approach UAB, uh, same way we're gonna approach Arkansas State, our conference open. And, uh, and that is to win, and uh, that is to try to do everything we can do to help our players have a chance to win. And I really believe that these coaches believe, and I believe that these players believe that on a given day they can beat anybody in America. And, uh, so that's the way we'll approach it, and that's the way we'll take it. Uh, we will play uh, some some uh, pretty tough uh, people uh, out of conference, certainly uh, with Bowling Green and then the Gators and then UAB here. And uh, that to me, that's a, that's an important game. That's an in-state rivalry. Over the years, we've been uh, pretty good against in-state teams. Uh, in total, and uh, we want to we want to try to make sure. I don't know what the I don't know what the record is right now exactly with UAB over a period of time since their inception, which was somewhere in the early 90s. And of course, we got we got to go to FIU, whom I picked to win the league uh, in my wisdom uh, as a picker. Uh, and you know, uh, and they're a very tough football team. We gotta, we gotta go. There. Everybody in the Sun Belt is better. Anybody in the Sun Belt can beat anybody on a given weekend. Any, and there's about five or six teams in the Sun Belt that can win the league. And uh, you know, we just, we just happened to be the one that was picked. They put the bullseye on us, uh, and that's, that's good. I'd rather be there as, as anywhere else. And uh, you got conference play is what it's all about. And you got to you got to take care of business on the road and at home, and you probably have to overcome a loss. And every year we've won it, last three we've had to overcome a loss. So you know, I, I hope I'd rather do it without overcoming a loss uh, and, and see how that feels one time. But uh, the main thing is win the conference. That'll be our number one goal. And whatever else happens, we'll uh, we'll count that up. But we. we uh, when they've had good work so far. We've had pretty good luck injury-wise. We've got some guys dinged up right now that we need to get back and get rolling and get them involved uh, in learning as much as anything and then taking that information and transmitting it to the field, to their feet, and, and uh, with the fundamentals of football applied. And, uh, so that's, uh, that's a really fun game. I, uh, uh, everybody knows that. We try to do. We try to pay homage to working hard on all three, and uh, and I think uh, you know, we got a chance to be good at all three. So uh, we will we will hope for the best and keep working hard and and uh, look forward to seeing y'all on a weekly basis uh, at our press conference and and uh, and our and our games and. Appreciate all you do for us. We appreciate our share. Thank you very much.